Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall. Yeah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Yeah. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness, sake, for there is in the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you. Here's the operative word, falsely. Amen. 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 Then he goes on to say in verse 13 that ye are the salt of the earth. In verse 14 he said, ye are the light of the world. Verse 16, it encourages us to let your light so shine before men that others may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. That tells me somebody ought to see you doing good sometime. All right, now. Are you listening to me? Somebody ought to see you doing good sometime. And then at the end of that chapter, as if to give it more punch and more power, he tells us, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. Now, at face value, when you look at this thing, when, when, when you look at this in the literal sense, that sounds like a statement, that sounds like a commandment that has nothing to do with us. But if we're honest with ourselves, no one here would remotely connect themselves All right. with perfection. All right. Amen. No one should right. connect themselves with, with perfection. Right. Come on now, push that person in front of you and say, you're not perfect. Come on, right. Come on now, push, push them and say, you're not perfect. Amen. Amen. Somebody close to you, push them and say, you're not perfect. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now turn, turn to that person who pushed you and said, you're going to see some imperfection. You push me. <laughs>
of ultimately achieving a perfected person. But the contradiction I struggle for many of us here is that life has, and occasionally, it knocks us around quite a bit. Yeah. Anybody been knocked around? Yeah. I mean, it knocks us around a bit. The current culture and climate in which we live, it, it doesn't seem to be conducive to, to becoming all that God has intended for us to be. The devil appears to be still having his way with us every now and then. He desires to do, as the scriptures say, to sift us as wheat. You know about a sifter? You know, a sifter for those who bake, or, you know, a sifter, it, it doesn't just destroy, it, it, it's just a little bit. No, no, no. Let me go, with, let me go to the cooks on this side. Y'all know what a sifter is? Hey, man, see this side up? It, it doesn't just take everything in. Come on now, it, it goes to a little at a time. That's what the devil wants to do. It wants to just sift you. Yeah. They want to destroy you all the time, but little by little. Uh -huh. Hey Amen. Won't you put you through some changes? Mm -hmm. hey Amen. We're living in some perilous times when the, the, the stretch of the, the fabric of our faith is being stretched almost to its limits. If we look at the news, we, we see that now about all the negative things that's going on. There's times in which those with a positive work ethic and a desire to work, and they find themselves struggling for a job, let alone trying to make a decent living. Yeah. Times in which a, a lot of us have more bills than money. Yeah. Times in which the unemployment rate is still high. Uh, times that tug on the tapestry of our trust in God. Yeah, we're living in some tough times, but, but tough times, the, the, if you look unto him who is the author and finisher of your faith, yeah. tough times don't mean the same thing to you as those who have no faith. Right. Tough times to you don't mean the same thing as those who don't know the Lord. But but when you go through these things, every now and then, the, the cares of the world, the vicissitudes of life, they come at such a, such a rapid pace, you want to believe, but sometimes it comes on you so quick and, and so often, you find yourself asking the question, how can I be perfected and matured in times like these? How can I be victorious when the raging winds of, 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 of just keep blowing on me all the time? How can I be perfected? How can I be more than a conqueror when my life is constantly being attacked? All right, all right. I know I'm not alone. All right, all right. The truth of the matter is uh, like the uh, words of the poet Langston Hughes, life for me ain't been no crystal stack. <laughs> there is a distinction between the perfect and the perfect. Perfect is blameless. The perfect have never done anything wrong. The perfect have never been uh, messed up on anything. But the perfected is transformed. The perfected has been through the fire. The perfected has been through the flood. The perfected have messed up, but they've grown up and they've learned from their mistakes. They, they've made mistakes, but they don't dwell on them. They don't live there. So I'm not in the perfect group. But I am in the perfected group. Right. Anybody else in my group? Amen. Amen. Now notice that Jesus says in this passage, Be ye therefore perfect. Ye in the King James Version is the plural sense. It is the plural you. It means the process of growth. The movement, movement towards fulfillment. It means the journey towards your destiny is a corporate adventure and not an individual undertaking. Are you praying with me? Ye is the collective you. It's the corporate you. It's not a single or a separate you. It's not a segregated or isolated you struggling all by yourself to rise above the pack. It's not the competitive you in a feverish strain to be number one. It's, it's talking about us as a group. It's talking about us as a family. Right. It's talking about us as a collective body. It, it's, it's the determination to be just a, a good member of the team and not be the star of the show. Uh -huh. all right. All right. All right. Being perfect does not mean you have to be the superstar. Right. Right. You know, Kobe or LeBron, they can score 40 points and the team still lose. Right. Right. Albert Pujols can have a monster year and the Cardinals still not make the playoffs. Right. Come on now, come on now. Chris Johnson can rush for 150 yards and the Titans still lose. It happened most of the 